Welcome to Gummit the Gamore. You suggested strange waffle toppings that you enjoy, and now we're gonna see if we agree or disagree. But first, we're going to donate $1,000 to 350.org. 350.org is an international movement of ordinary people working to solve the climate crisis and end the age of fossil fuels and build a world of community-led renewable energy for all. We're both involved in Give, and we would invite you to give as well at 350.org slash donate. Yeah, check them out. Read them up. Also, check out our podcast, Ear Biscuits. Um, every Monday, we release a new audio version wherever you get your podcasts. Then the following Sunday, we release a video version. Listen, the point is, we talk about stuff, we talk about our life, we we process things. It's, Pro- lots of process. It's mostly it's, process. Um, it's, uh, it's worth it. Check it out. It's worth it. It's worth it. Check it out. What else are you gonna do? Who suggested this? Uh, I don't know. I think in a moment, here we go. We had, it was Chris. Chris with a K Maritime. at Maritime. Raspberry jam and Tabasco. Sweet and spicy. Ooh, sweet and spicy. I think I might be into this, bro. I, oh, I think Josh put some, um, a, put a nice little Tabasco accoutrement. I'm not sure if, uh, how much other Tabasco I got. It kind of, it kind of looks like, a, like a, a waffle comet, like float, like flying through space. You're going right where I went. Yeah. I, I don't, well, you could. I mean, it's the first bite. I, w- I just wouldn't do that later on. Yeah, I'm, I'm just. I was looking for some. I don't know if there's Tabasco in all of it. I can't really tell either, honestly. It's good. What I had was good. Oh no, this it, this is this is a little spicy. I think that it, it's mixed mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. I like this, man. Sweet and spicy. The Tabasco right. is in the raspberry jam, and it's just enough to like make you go, huh? Things that make you go, huh? huh. I don't think that's weird, Chris. I think that's, I think that's just right. I think it, I think it's a little strange, but it's unexpected. You you might be like, what? You put Tabasco and well, raspberry after, jam. Raspberry after, jam's good. After we dis- d- discovered that hot honey in the pizza dip, or at least I discovered that. Spicy honey. You've been discovering a lot this year. I'm just. You I'm found so, out about hot honey. I'm so open to and, new uh, experiences. What else have you learned? Hot raspberry jam. That, that's the thing. That's the thing to take note of. I'll take another bite. You ever had pepper? Anybody have pepper jelly? I was just thinking about that. That's my favorite, like on a charcuterie cheese yes. board, some pepper yeah, jelly. I could tell mm-hmm. you. That's what this is like. The Stevie Palette would like the pepper jelly. I, I, that's true. Now. Have you done pepper jelly and cream cheese together on a bagel? I've done goat cheese on like a piece of bread. Goat well, cheese and pepper jelly. Well, that sounds good. You should do just straight up cream cheese and pepper jelly together on anything. I mean, you can just eat those two things together. So good. And that's what that's the same reason this is good. So same, Chris, it's the same exact reason. Chris, you've done it. You've impressed us. You've op- you've opened up our world. You've expanded our horizons. You've gotten Kleenex on your fork. Don't clean your fork with a Kleenex. Use a paper towel. Hayden Anstein tweeted, the weirdest thing I've put on my waffles is some shrimp and honey mustard. It's so good, you guys, you should try it. Okay. This feels a little bit like a setup. This feels like this person does this for real, and it's like, yeah, I discovered something. This is like, I wonder if they'll do it. No, and you know we'll do it. I, no, I can. Well, listen, shrimp and honey mustard on Hay- a waffle. Hayden Einstein. There was some sincerity in the in the tweet, but then if you if you look at the icon, it's someone on a dirt bike. Oh, he's risky. You do like shrimp and grits, you right? Know? But yeah. honey mustard, chicken and waffles, shrimp and grits, <laughs> get mixed up and. End up with the in the pits. I think if you're an, if you're a good if you're a dirt bike rider, this is this is a little bit frou frou. I think I like shrimp on stuff. I will I will try some shrimp on stuff. You ever put mustard on shrimp? Because maybe you should have been doing that. Shrimp and honey mustard. 
is a good thing. Waffles just bread. Has everybody, anybody ever put honey mustard on shrimp? No, but I feel like if you put bacon on top of that, it probably would be even better. Yes. I'm sorry about everything I said about you, Hayden. Hayden, you're right. Add bacon. Don't come after me on your dirt bike. Don't spit out on me and get me all dirty. Stevie, you you really nailed it because it needs, it just needs a little salty. With the honey mustard, it needs that salty. It needs some bacon. That, like with um, chicken and waffles, you get the saltiness, you know? And still the syrupy. Woo, this is, this is something. That's Shrimp something. and waffles. This is something. Two for two. Yeah, I, I, I gotta say. Add I, bacon. I'm really enjoying this. Even bacon bits if, if you're in a crunch. No, you know what I'll say? Bacos. Say, say bacos. Oh, you're one of the only people that likes bacos. I don't like bacos, but you need the crunch. Nothing here, the, the waffle, the waffle you, has some crunch. You know, I like bacon bits You used bits to come and get me. bacos from my house. Did you ever then tell your mom that to buy them? Because it's not like they're a high price item. What are you saying? My mom can't afford high priced items? I'm saying that you could have had the freaking Bacos at your house. And do you have them now? I never asked my mom for Bacos because then going to your house, why would I go to your house? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> um, All right, I'm excited about this based on what see I can the see tweet. here. Tiff Seltzer. Or Setzler. Setzler. <laughs> your how, mom, how often does that happen to you, Tiff Setzler? At your mom eats mayo. Well, she does. I'm not offended. Or Nacho your mo meets mayo. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Nothing like using meat as a verb, M-E-A-T. Oh, it might be your mom at smayo. <laughs> I mean, there's all, we can play this game all day long. Not Yo, er, mo me at nacho cheese and chili, nacho waffles. Oh, nacho cheese and chili with uh, b -b 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 beans. Okay. This seems... I've been putting, I've been doing the British beans on toast thing quite often for myself. And I posted uh, some beans that I put on some toast. And the British people told me that I was putting the wrong kind of beans on there. So I went out and I bought the Heinz beans that they all suggested. And I gotta say, it's good. I don't think that it's revolutionarily better. You know what's also good is. Um refried beans with eggs and cheese. Oh yeah, yeah. A little tapatio action. Hot beans in the morning is good. Stevie is such a foodie. Remember when we used to travel and Stevie would get on that app and start talking about, the f what's the fire spot? What would you call it? What's the fire spot for foods? What? Be like, what app? I found, I found the fire spot where we're gonna eat. No. Oh yeah, whenever we travel places, I like to be in total control over oh, where but, we go eat. But he's taking fire spot from the heat, the heat map. Oh, the eater. The eater heat, heat map. map. Fire spot. That's the fire spot. That's what. That's how it translated in Link's brain. Yeah, we're going to the fire spot. Heat I map. feel like the place that we went that we had like consistently the best food was Austin. Like every place that we ate was so good. That one night it was a fusion, Japanese and Oh barbecue. my gosh, yeah. Oh. And also that place that we With had like big that rib. big steak that came out. No, you're talking about the big rib. That was a different place. That was like a that American was... small plate place. And then the other yeah. place was well, like was a Izakaya. No, it no, it was it was, it was Austin, but that was like the restaurant was small and narrow and it was yeah. in like a strip mall kind of situation. Yeah, that was good. And we split one beef rib. Yeah. Remember travel? Is this yeah. it? Is there one more? Okay, so this what is a world. This, this we, used is to, good. we used to move throughout the earth. Yeah. Remember when that used to happen? Like moving throughout the earth? What are, what are we, let's render this. Let's moving render, into places and eating them? <laughs> render a, like a monster. Like a gigantic monster. I just go into places and I start eating it right into the, the baseboards. Ah! <clears throat> Ah, that's good. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Really good. A waffle is just a bed for you to express yourself. Express yourself in bed. I mean, if this just had bacon. That's my least favorite one. 
I'm not much of a shrimp I, man. I'm, I'm, I'm most excited about this. I'm most excited with about Bacos. this. With Bacos. This is, this is a revolution. You got any Bacos discovery. in your pocket? Blue Dog 1114 at Blue Dog underscore 1114. Yeah, all the Blue Dogs were taken. It's one, yeah, it's one thing to have your username be Blue Dog underscore 114, but then to also have your Twitter name that you can change to anything you want be Blue Dog without an underscore well, 1114. They took the underscore out. It's like, that's what, that reveals that's what they really wanted. They wanted, yeah. He wanted Blue Dog 1114, but had to settle for Blue Dog underscore 1114. That's not much of a settle. I barely Clean even noticed the cheese and Oreo crumbles. Okay, yes. Why not? Wow, dessert. This is one, this is one you can just pick up and bite. Well, if you're that kind of guy, yeah. These waffles are amazingly consistent. How did you pull this off? Eggos. You know that's good. And good for you. Man. Man, that is good. You sort of forget what you can do with waffles. They're you a, just don't think about it. They're a bed for you. Yeah, to but like yourself. Eggos, right. the kind of the point of Eggos is that they're like a quick situation. So I feel like I don't know. It just feels like a lot of effort. That's pretty easy, though. Yeah. You have to you have to crumble the Oreos. What? How are you gonna do that? You got to put them in a in a in a Ziploc. You got to I, I know beat, a guy. beat them around. I got a crumbler. I, I got a crumbler contact. He crumbles multiple things. You just drop them off in a bag on his doorstep. They come back crumbling. Whenever you see him, his hands are doing this, even when he's not actually crumbling anything. It's right. just like, he's he's constantly crumbling. You gotta, he's crumbling in his sleep, and you, you just put have, things in his hands. You gotta have a crumble contact, Stevie. You know what? I can pick up, hook you up with my crumble guy. Okay. I think he's got, I think he's got an opening. My crumble guy said, stop, stop referring to me. I can't, I, I'm at capacity. He's over crumbled. Do you yeah. guys remember the live action version of uh, Flintstones, the Flintstones movie? Did not see that. It had, uh, but I knew John, John Goodman. Goodman was yeah, Fred Flintstone. and they're like the way their kitchen worked. Their garbage disposal was the little dinosaur or warthog, something underneath the yeah, yeah. But and everything in their kitchen was like that. I feel like they'd have like a like a crumbler in that kitchen. But that that was true of the. Um, of the animated version too. Well, I'm just saying that that it looked more realistic. And it was more realistic because yeah. that's the way it was when dinosaurs and people walked yeah. the earth together. <laughs> yeah. But you're right, it needs bacon. Make your showers more mythical with the Retin Link shower curtain and towel set. Available now at mythical.com.